Yo, yo, what's up? This is Mike back with another video. And, uh, just want to talk about the OnePlus 6T. I've had this phone since, uh, last November or something like that. Yeah, last November. Um,. And uh, just, just you know, with the OnePlus 7T coming out, you know, I saw somebody on the comment of a YouTube video and they had the OnePlus 7 Pro. And they was like, should they upgrade to the 7T? Now, it's kind of interesting. Like, you have the OnePlus 7 Pro. You're guaranteed three years of support. Um, I mean, why would you want to upgrade? You know, and it just comes to show that these cell phones <laughs> is they're like cocaine. They're like crack to people. And a lot of these YouTubers are the suppliers because a phone, a, a company can come out with another phone and it's an upgrade as minimalistic as possible. And they push you to go out and get that. You know what I'm saying? If you have a one plus seven pro, there's no need for you to get a one plus seven T. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's just absolutely no need. I have a OnePlus 6T here. I say to myself, is there anything about the OnePlus 7 Pro or OnePlus 7T that makes me want to upgrade? Somebody replied to me, the 90 hertz refresh rate. I'm sorry, that's not really a big deal to me. I mean, I have 8 gigs of RAM in the 6T. I turned the animations down even more. So, I mean, the phone is responsive as heck. When I touch something, it reacts. So the 90 hertz refresh rate is not that big of a deal to me. You know? Um, I got 8 gigs of RAM. I'm supported for at least 2 to 3 years. Okay? OnePlus even said that some of the features like um, the, the new gaming mode and the Zen mode and it was two other features. Those features that was on the OnePlus 7 Pro are eventually going to come to the OnePlus 6T and the OnePlus 6. So I don't think that's a, you know, a valuable, a valuable reason, you know, um, I'm guaranteed to get, you know, Android Q and Android R. You know what I'm saying? Android S and security updates and stuff like that. Um, people will say, well, the OnePlus camera is not that good. I mean, me personally, I don't have a problem with OnePlus's camera that comes on the phone. I think their regular camera takes great shots. And I've seen videos of people comparing the OnePlus 6T camera to the Pixel and to the iPhone or the OnePlus 6, 6T camera compared to the Pixel or, or into the Samsung S9 uh, or S10 and stuff like that. And OnePlus's camera holds up quite well. Now, the OnePlus Night Mode, in my opinion, is, I mean, it works. But the funny thing is, I think OnePlus's regular camera takes better nighttime photos than OnePlus's night camera. I don't know. It's just something about the OnePlus Night Mode that... It brightens the picture up, but it's not as crisp. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like blurry a little bit. And even there's a way around that. I mean, you see that right here. I got the, uh, let me, if I could zoom in. Let me turn the, uh, brightness down even more. You see right there, I got the G cam. You know what I'm saying? I got the Google Pixel 3 camera engine right there. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? With the little yellow uh, circle right there. You know what I'm saying? So, as a matter of fact, I'll go to it right now. And here it is. You know what I'm saying? And there's the night, what is it called? Night, yeah, night sight. The Google Pixel night sight. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, even if camera quality was that big of a deal to me, I got, you know, the Google Pixel camera on there. So, that kind of nullifies that argument right there. You know, I just think that the constant upgrading every six to eight months is kind of pointless because think about it. 
some will give you discounts like i know samsung will give you like a discount and you get like maybe let's say you want like the note or something and you get three hundred dollars off of it you still coming out your pocket for like 700 or something like that <laughs> you know what i'm saying and then six months later or seven months later or maybe eight months later you want the newer version you trade in that phone you getting like 300 off and you coming out your pocket again with like another 600 or something like that. And then if you do a monthly installments on these phones, they're going to hit your head for like 30 plus a month. You know what I'm saying? So I just think it's kind of pointless, you know, with these upgrades and stuff like that. These these eight to nine months, every eight to nine, eight month upgrades and stuff like that. You know, you can go on Amazon right now and find you some good ass phones on the low low. You know what I'm saying? Now I know LG has a bad reputation, especially with with uh, updates. But you can't deny the fact that you can go on Amazon right now and get an LG V30 for like two hundred and something dollars. Like that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? You can go on Amazon right now and get a Google Pixel 2 XL for like two hundred and something dollars. You can find a OnePlus 6T on Amazon for like three hundred and something dollars. You know? I mean, you you can find good deals. You can find uh, Xiaomi. Uh, Realme Note 7 for a hundred and what seventy five dollars on Amazon. Like there's tons of good deals on on Amazon and other places like Swappa or eBay and stuff like that. You know, but uh, it just it just shows how you know. And when people be like, well, people people are used to people are used to uh <laughs> people will say, well, I like new tech. You know, that'd be their excuse why they want to trade in phones every, you know, eight months and stuff. And I say, well, and I always ask them, well, do you trade in your laptop every eight months? Do you trade in your desktop computer every eight months? Do you trade in your, you know, flat screen TV every eight months? Do you trade in your vehicle every eight months? Do you trade in your tablet every eight months? You know, do you trade in your stereo sound system every eight months? <laughs> Um, do you trade in your, you know, uh, are you always buying brand new Bluetooth ear earbuds and headphones every eight months? And I ain't gonna lie, a hundred percent of the time when they reply back to me after I ask them that, they say no. Then I say, well, you don't like new tech then, because if you really like new tech, you know what I'm saying, you're using, you're trading all that stuff in. You know what I'm saying? Not just phones. You know what I'm saying? There's more to tech. There's more to tech than just phones. You know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of these channels and gent, they tell you they check tech channel, but they only review phones and gent. Yeah, phones are a part of tech, but you know, a phone channel is not my ideal of a tech channel. You know? And, you know, that's just how a lot of people be down days, you know, the upgrading these phones every eight months is like crack the people. They just can't help themselves. You know. So I'll be keeping the uh, the one plus 70 for quite a long time. You know, like I said before. I, I don't really got any reason to upgrade. You know what I'm saying? And plus, I'm one of these dudes. I buy a lot of cases for my phone. You know, different color cases. Like, I got the, the clear blue case. You can't see it because, you know what I'm saying, it's early in the morning. It's like six, like six something in the morning over here on the East Coast. But I got, like, this clear bluish case. It's a blue case, but it's clear. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I got a bunch of other different cases for my 6T. So, you know, that's another reason why I don't really like switching phones every eight months or nothing, something like that. Because then I got to throw all my cases away and stuff like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, I get a new phone. I get, you know, lots of cases for them. Got to switch my phone. Got to switch my case case game up. You know what I'm saying? When I... Like during the summertime, I rocked out, had the camouflage shirt on, the army green camouflage shirt with the uh, camouflage uh, 
I had my camouflage army green backpack. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? With my camouflage uh, hat. And I had my camouflage cell phone case to go with it. And you know what I'm saying? I was doing it. I was killing the ladies. They was like, oh, and he got the matching phone case too. Chicks like that, guys. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Not saying you should do it just because chicks like it. I don't. I just like getting multiple cases. But FYI, chicks do like that. <laughs> you know. So I got a bunch of different cases and stuff like that. Colored red, blue, you know, green. I got all types of color cases. So when I, you know, switch like switching phones every all the time, you know, then I got to throw all my cases away. You know what I'm saying? I still got all my cases for my LG V20. And I don't even got that phone no more. Because <laughs> I just don't want to throw the cases away. You know what I'm saying? I might just go on Amazon and buy an LG V20 for like 130 bucks. You know what I'm saying? That way I don't have to throw my cases away. I got camouflage. I got all types of cases for that phone. I had that phone for like what? Uh, two years, two, three years. Bought it in 20, October 2016 and got rid of it like August 2018. But anyway, I was just doing this little short video talking about the OnePlus 6T. Man, if you can find this phone on the low low on Amazon, on Swabber.com, man, pick this joint up. This phone right here is a gem. Straight up. You know? See, you got the college football joint, you know what I'm saying? But uh, this is a good phone, man. And oh yeah, and another thing. I was I was saying to my I was saying to somebody, well. Maybe LG does have the right strategy because think about it. LG is notoriously notorious. Can't get the word out. LG is notori notoriously known <laughs> for not delivering updates on time. I don't know why I couldn't get that word out for some strange reason. But they're known for not getting updates out like that. LG. But maybe this is part of LG's plan. Because they know people upgrade their phones every eight or nine months anyway. So they're thinking it's probably like, well, people upgrade their phones anyway every eight months. Why should we support it? You know what I'm saying? So maybe LG got the right strategy after all. You know, because you got OnePlus out here and Google and they support. Yeah, I said Google and the thing activated. You got OnePlus and, you know. The other company with the G that I just said, I don't want to say the name because then my uh, assistant is going to activate. The, the the company that makes the Pixel, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Um, but what if those two companies say, well, shoot, we're not going to support phones for two to three years anyway, because the majority of the consumers upgrade their phones every eight months anyway. You know what I'm saying? And I bet you that's probably why LG don't upgrade their phones too. Because they they probably know that people upgrade their phones. That's probably why LG don't update their phones. Because they probably know people upgrade their phones every seven, eight months and stuff like that. And every time you buy a brand new LG, you notice that it has the newest version of Android. You know what I'm saying? Like next year's LG phone will have Android 10 right out the box. While people who got the LG V40... We'll still be waiting for Android 9. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or still be waiting for Android 10. So. Yeah, that's just my little, you know what I'm saying? Chat about the OnePlus 6T and, you know, how companies, you know, should they, you know, update their phones and all that stuff. But I'm about to get out of here. I'm about to head to Safeway. Give me something to eat. This mic. And I'm out.